Hello everyone, today we are trying to help with NDVI from Sentinel-2 uh, in QGIS. We will download Sentinel-2 images, uh, which is freely available and help with NDVI. So NDVI is uh, the most used index in agriculture. Uh, it helps in determining the presence of vegetation. So when solar radiation falls on leaves, uh, they are either absorbed or reflected or transmitted. So the leaves mostly absorb uh, visible light for photosynthesis, and there is a strong reflection in near infrared light. Um, when there are more leaves, uh, more such wavelengths are reflected. Uh, the difference uh, is utilized uh, to calculate NDVI, and the value of NDVI ranges from minus 1.0 to plus 1.0. So we have a formula as NIR minus read, divided by NIR plus red. So Sentinel-2 is the Earth Observation Mission of EU, uh, EU's Earth Observation Program. So currently it consists of two satellites, Sentinel-2A and Sentinel-2B. Uh, and the sensor have 13 spectral bands uh, with spectral emission of 10 to 20 and 60 meter. Uh, and the data is free, available. So QGIS is a freely available open source desktop platform uh, for the GIS applications. It can be downloaded from QGIS.org. So, so here we have Copernicus Open Access Hub. Uh, and we go to Open Hub. So we require an account for downloading the images. So I have already logged in this purpose. So uh, in the right hand side, you can see different map layers. We can choose map layers based upon our preferences. And the and currently we are selecting this uh, navigation mode. We can zoom in and zoom out or drag the map to go to the location. So and the second one is the area mode where we can select the uh, required area of interest. For this purpose, we are trying to select somewhere in France. So for the search criteria, uh, we are going to select a date from March to May. Here we are going to select March, plus to May. May. And we are downloading Sentinel-2, so we are going to tick here. So for Sentinel platform, there are two satellites, Sentinel-2A and Sentinel-2B. We're not choosing this one. Um, so based on our preferences, we can choose prop type. For the prop type, we have uh, different choices. So we are choosing S Sentinel-2, 2A data type, and 2A refers to the uh, reflectance from the bottom of the atmosphere. So for the cloud cover, we are we will choose um, cloud cover less than five. So after that, we're going to select, and so we have already selected the area of interest. So we are going to search now. So as you can see, we have about 15 products available. Some are offline. So for the offline products, we need to add them into cards. So I've already downloaded uh, one file, uh, one last file. The files are generally larger, about 1.1 GB or more. So I've already downloaded the file where I have file somewhere here. No, this is not the file. So I have downloaded the file from the side and I've extracted the extracted the file. So it, the file generally comes uh, in uh, Jeep archive. So after extracting, we go to the granule and here is the uh, in, inside the granule, 
somewhere in image data, we have the images, required images. So along with this, we also open uh, QGIS. Uh, so for ensuring the image uh, in the QGIS, either we can do layer and add layer or add raster layer. But the easy option is we can just download them. So for the case of uh, Sentinel-2, uh, we are using NIR and RIT. So uh, band, the required bands are band 8 and band 4. Band 4 is the RIT band and band 8 is the NIR band. So for easiness, we can change the name here. We put source and we can just, there are certain naming systems according to the uh, image name. We are changing the name for our easiness. So after this, um, for calculating NDVI, we go to raster and there is a raster calculator. And as soon before, we can just ut uh, utilize the formula we have. So the formula is we just use uh, the subtraction divided by addition. So we have band 8 S N I R and minus band 4 laser it divided by and eight plus and four. So we choose the output layer and location from here. Uh, as required, we can choose anywhere, um, anywhere we like, and should give the name um, as required. And after that, we just do okay. However, I have already. Uh, done this process. So I'm just going to drag the file again here. So I have already done this. So after doing this, we get something like this. Um, this is the NDVI here. Um, so we find this NDVI after uh, doing, after utilizing the raster calculator. So we can see the value ranges from minus 0 0.9 to 0 0.9. So as if we zoom uh, the maze, um, we can see probably the other field. So for easy viewing, we can just select to go to properties and go to symbology. We choose a single band suit color. And based on the requirements, uh, it depends upon the user preferences to use what type of color ramp. So for this purpose, I'm just utilizing the uh, greens here. So it might not be the uh, best viewing for this purpose, however, but just for demonstration, we are utilizing this. So the most green area is the um, place where there might be higher presence of vegetation and the lighter area are the area where there is less vegetation. Uh, so you can see this might be the cloud here. And somewhere here in the midst is this the water source, which has uh, less NDVI. We also have uh, this uh, tool called Identify Features, which can help us to determine the NDVI value of this point. So here we have in the green area, we have 0 0.92. And somewhere in the lighter area, it just it says 0 0.11. So the Basic idea is here is to utilize raster calculate, raster calculator, and we can use this uh, method to calculate all the NDVI, other uh, uh, indices just like NDVI. 
uh, and it's all about the tools. We can also use uh, ArtMap, uh, Snap uh, Toolbox, uh, and other um, tools such as Google Earth Engine as well. Um, so I think uh, this was helpful if you're very new to this. Um, so thank you for watching.